Hey, what's up pilots? What's up student pilots? Hope your training is going great. We're gonna do another quick video continuing our cross country playlist. We're almost done with our whole entire cross country planning. The next thing we gotta do is we gotta calculate the time to each checkpoint. To do this, you're gonna need the distance to each checkpoint. That should have been one of the first things you did with your plotter tool and your chart. And then you're gonna need your ground speed. That's one of the last things we just did. We did a video on this, how to find the ground speed using our wind data and the E6B. If you want a refresher, that video is gonna pop up with a little eye up here. You can click on that and you can go watch that video right now for a refresher on how to get the ground speed, all right? So, and then, so we're just gonna use a simple equation here. So the time to each checkpoint, we're gonna get that in minutes. And it's just gonna be the distance to each checkpoint in nautical miles divided by the ground speed you plan on flying to that checkpoint. And then you're gonna multiply that result by 60. Now this 60 is what converts us from hours to minutes. Uh, we want the time in, to each checkpoint in minutes because we don't have to do math on, okay, 0.2 hours. What is that in minutes while we're flying? We want it in minutes because most of our checkpoints, all of them should be in terms of minutes and not hours. All right, so let's do this. Let's do a quick example. Okay, so you've seen this before. If you watched all my videos, this is just an example cross country plan. We have our altitude and our checkpoints here. We got our time, which we're gonna find here. We have our distances, total distances, our wind data, temperature data, courses, variation, magnetic courses, wind correction angle, magnetic heading, true airspeed, and ground speed. All right, now for this, if we go back to our equation, we need distance to checkpoint and ground speed. So we're gonna need ground speed and distance for each checkpoint. So let's start with checkpoint or waypoint one. So it's gonna be 10 divided by 85, 10 divided by 85 times 60. And if I get out my calculator, it's 7.06, which is about seven minutes, all right? Now, if we do that again, let's do that for waypoint two. So we're gonna have eight nautical miles and 89 for our ground speed. So we have eight divided by 89 times 60. Comes out to be 5.4, 5.4 minutes. All right, and we'll continue that on for each of these waypoints all the way into our last waypoint where at our landing airport. All right, I hope this made sense. If not, please comment below. And now you can see on your screen, there's gonna be two, some video suggestions. The video on your left is gonna be how to find your ground speed but using your E6B, which is very important for the video we just watched. And then on the right, you're gonna see the whole cross country playlist if you wanna review any other videos on our cross country plan. And then if you click on the logo on the top left of your screen right now, you can subscribe so you get notifications of when we will post videos next. Thanks.